In this video, we're going to be covering the resources required to compete for mining fresh Bitcoin and also how hash power actually impacts Bitcoin mining difficulty and what it means about Bitcoin demand. Well, keep watching so you don't miss a key step in blockchain behind Bitcoin. In our previous Academy video, What is Bitcoin Mining? We learned that like gold miners using picks and shovels to extract gold, a Bitcoin miner needs two things, mining hardware and also energy. And from that, they'll produce a new block for the blockchain. Well, yes, but it's not all that simple. So in this video, we'll cover Bitcoin mining difficulty. Mining difficulty actually changes depending on whether the total Bitcoin hash power consumed by the network has increased or decreased. In this video, we'll cover Bitcoin mining and also how it impacts us in the cryptocurrency space. So let's start with hash power and mining. While solving the mathematical puzzles for new blocks on the Bitcoin blockchain actually requires huge amount of computational power. Because there is such a need for power, this leads to miners joining forces and coming together in Bitcoin mining pools and solving these mathematical puzzles together, leading to the first individual miner or the mining pools that find the right hash and get the right block reward. So if you're an individual miner, then you receive the rewards and in a mining pool, block rewards are split among participants in a proportion to their share of the computational power in the pool. With this so-called hash power, the entire network increases accordingly. And as a cryptocurrency like Bitcoin becomes more popular, the number of computers participating in this peer-to-peer -peer network actually increase. Miners compete against each other for these limited block rewards. So what is Bitcoin mining difficulty? Well, mining difficulty in the Bitcoin network actually indicates how difficult and time consuming it is to find the right hash for each block. And solving this mathematical puzzle for the valid block creation requires huge amounts of computational power. So how is Bitcoin mining difficulty calculated? Well, Bitcoin was created with the intention that 2016 blocks take two weeks to mine. If the blocks are created in a shorter period of time, then the difficulty is actually automatically adjusted. So if the hash rate is longer or shorter than the intended two weeks, for example, it took only 10 days, it means that difficulty is too low and therefore it will be increased around 40% to ensure that it now takes two weeks to find those 2016 blocks. Now it's really important to note that Bitcoin mining difficulty can both increase and decrease Generally, the difficulty will decrease after the network hash rate drops. So there's a number of reasons why potentially Satoshi Nakamoto actually introduced this coding. One of them could be to eliminate the risk of hackers buying really fast computers to create new blocks and potentially override the Bitcoin system. So an adjustment of difficulty upwards or downwards actually depends on the number of participants in the mining network and their combined hash power. In summary, mining difficulty actually indicates how difficult it is to solve a really complex cryptographic puzzle in the process of Bitcoin mining. The difficulty of mining increases or decreases over time depending on how the miners in the network work. So I told you it's not as complicated as you might think. Well, I hope you found this video useful and as always, make sure not to miss another video by subscribing to the Bitpanda YouTube channel and turning on your notifications.